Listening to the deputy speaker and you come away with the feeling that she has been paying attention to the race for the White House, where some opinion polls suggest Hillary Clinton might just nick it. She is saying it is time for Nigerian women to step out to be counted. All it takes is to have courage, refuse to be intimidated, be focused, and have something upstairs. Because even the men themselves, uh, from my experience, they are not as bad as we think they are. But before that can happen, challenges remain. The girl child in Nigeria isn't treasured as much as the male child. No wonder then that in some parts of the country, many still face the tragedy of early marriage and truncated education. The recent case of Habiba Isiaku in Katsana is a sad testament to this reality. How do these advocates and women feel about such stories? Very sad. It just makes me um, think like other women would. I mean, when is this going to end, you know? It's like an onslaught. It's monstrous. The child right law is there that prohibits child marriage. And people still practice it, especially those who claim they are lawmakers. They still violate the law. What then is the solution? Until we can take away um, that thing about culture and tradition and face children's issues, especially the girl-child issues, the better for us. Social media is doing such a great job of exposing this act. So training the woman will actually bring out the trainings because she will multiply it. She will train other people, both men and women she will train. Shagun Jumu, STV News.